Incoming transmission. Home to all that have remained loyal to the Imperium of Man, the great emperor of mankind has fallen to the forces of chaos. It's not you who has betrayed humanity, it is him, so stand tall and fight to the very end against this chaos. Warhammer, unofficial story. The Emperor's Heresy. Disclaimer. Emperor's Heresy is a Dorian Heresy. Hi guys, Minch Peter Al here, and today I'll be painting up a team of six Sons of Horus in my for my new well for my Emperor's Heresy. They are loyalists versions of the Sons of Horus. Same colours, just do not have the insignia on the pauldron or um, shoulder pad. If you guys enjoy and want to see more, please consider liking, subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you never miss another video. Let's get straight into it. I start the process by simply airbrushing with a bit, just airbrushing a zenith all over these models just to give them that, um, well, the spectrum of light. My dr dr airbrush was a bit speckly, so it didn't come out as much as I wanted it to, but it came out alright. I added in Horus Lupercal or Lupercal Green, I think it is. Lupercal Green, yes. I apply that in the airbrush along with the water to give it this colour, and then I slowly build up the colour in transition with the paint. I do do multiple passes with the airbrush and I do record them. I am trying to cut that down of me recording me doing repetitive tasks. But if you guys want to see my, me doing my repetitive tasks, please let me know. This is an Emperor's Heresy kind of video where I show each traitor legion as loyalist and all loyalist legions as traitors with a bit of mix and match in between. Here I show loyalist sons of Horus. I show that by not adding the decals mainly because the decals have been um a bit tricky for me these days due to a um issue I've had with my arm. It's giving light twitches every so often, so I tend to mess up. And so in doing so, I've been trying to resort from not using decals as I keep messing them up. But once I've got this resolved, I should hopefully be able to do decals better, or I'll get someone else to help me with it. I even wet blend, well, glaze lubricant green all over these models as the driver as I did the as with the dry brush, not the dry brush, the airbrush, 
was too watery for it to work, so I had to glaze it, but I don't mind it, as the results are alright and they speak for themselves. Just take your time with this kind of stuff. And yes, I do have a soldier that has is missing an arm, and I do display that by having a streak of blood down his legs, or down his leg, well, painted blood, to um, simulate that he is a soldier that's still willing to fight, but even though he's lost a limb, he ain't backing down. Like in most Space Marine soldiers. A lot of you will hopefully identify that these soldiers do have bolsters, and from 30k and 40k, this is just to resemble that some soldiers prefer old gear, and my hor my um, Emperor's Heresy spans from the 30k and into the 40k universes, so it's as if the war has not finished, it's just the gear's gotten better as it goes, so you'll see Primaris, Firstborns, Mark 7s and all that throughout. Hopefully, event. Hopefully, if I can get my hands on a um, Mark III, the new Mark III box, I'll possibly be able to do those. But only time will tell on that. I use Iron Warrior Gr Silver on all the molecular bonding studs, because well, they're basically the worlds of the 40k and well of the. Warhammer World Universe, so I went with it, worked out well, and I kind of enjoyed it. I'm not a big fan of repetitive work, but I enjoyed this. I also am a large fan of the backpacks or the power packs of the of the 30k um. Soldiers, I think they're a bit more unique in personality and they're not so big and bulky, but I know a lot of people don't like them, and some do. I prefer to see these on, pri on Primaris, but a lot of people won't, so I'll do what I do and have fun with it. Also, the light is again my headlamp. It's my magnifying um, headband that helps me see as I am. Well, I do not have 20 20 vision, so it helps with me with smaller details. So, I do apologize for the weird extra light. If you guys want to see a different angle of me wearing the um, head, well, headlamp, magnification, headband, I don't know exactly what they're called. I just call it my magnification headband with a light on it. But if you know what it's called, please let me know. I bring out Barbarian Fresh from the Army Painters range to paint this head of this sergeant, well, 
sort of sergeant as I do have a fully built sergeant technically already done but I think of him as second in command in a way of this squad but it is what it is I apply blackwash semi selectively to well, make it a bit different than my normal videos where I just slather it on and then pull it back I apologize if you heard the motorcycle in the background. It is a bit busy today. I use Sterling mud for the bases. I've been, I've been meaning to use technical paints more and mainly basing paints. I haven't, and I do apologize for that, but I do plan to do a basing video sometime in the future. Unless this video gets send me a few likes, a few likes and it shows good results, I might do it sooner. Also, you will realize I don't paint the guns, and there's a reason for that. I see this Legion as thinking more so, keep everything you own as yours, otherwise another Legion will take it, as gear is scarce in this universe, in this like, my version of the um, Horus Heresy. Here are the reveals, hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more Hellraiser Heresy videos, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell so you never miss another video. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, me Spreader out. So I've just opened up a Discord for my channel. If you guys wish to join it, I'll leave a link down below. If you don't, don't have to join it. Up to you. All right. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Bye.